Well, let's talk about jobs and the thousands of North Texans looking for work. That is where our segment now hiring can help. Our Kim Molestina tells us why Whole Foods is now hiring more team members. During the pandemic, Whole Foods has received high praise for their safety measures, especially for employees. For the team members, we supply them with face shields, gloves, and we do routine temperature checks at the start of every shift. And now company officials say they have about 275 jobs throughout 12 stores in the Metroplex, which they need to hire for, according to Sean Bester. He's the head of employer brand for Whole Foods. And those jobs range from seasonal to part-time to full-time, and they can really be anything. They can be a department lead level. Um, and they can also be an in-store shopper position. Whole Foods prides themselves in the benefits they offer all of their employees. One major one is no one makes less than $15 an hour. And now that can only go up depending on what role you're applying for, how much experience you have. What piece of advice do you think you might offer somebody who's interested in applying with Whole Foods, Sean? Anybody that comes in, just be open to learning and you're going you're gonna to be able to thrive here. And if you aspire to do more within the company, Bester says they have a path for that too. Whole Foods has a really rich tradition of people starting off anywhere in the stores and then working their way up to leading a team or leading a store or moving into a regional corporate role. All right, folks, if you are new to the Now Hiring segment, we have made it extremely easy for you to find all of these employers that are offering work right now. All you have to do is go to our website, cbsdfw.com. You're going to want to look for this logo. Click on it. It's about halfway down the homepage, and that'll take you to a second page full of all of the employers that we have been featuring in our Now Hiring segment. We wish you all the best of luck. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.